hey guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video as you can tell by the title we're going to be talking about beauty my beauty struggle it's a little bit personal and it's something that i have honestly kind of ummed and awed about sharing whoa my voice went really high there um that i've kind of ummed and awed about sharing but i thought i'm just gonna do it i'm just gonna sit down open up a little bit about how i felt in the past how i'm currently feeling and yeah kind of the idea of this is hopefully other people will be encouraged to share their own beauty struggle or kind of think about their beauty struggle discuss it kind of thing I just hope that by me sharing my kind of outlook on it and perspective and experience of it it can help someone else even if it helps like one person like I'm happy with that also wanted to say a massive thank you to everyone who has been subscribing to my channel I finally passed 100 subscribers so I'm really really happy with that and I know to a lot of people and to most people in the YouTube world 100 subscribers is like nothing but to know that like 100 people are semi interested in what I do and what I put out there considering I am not the most consistent person out there I know is pretty cool and so yeah I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who's been liking my videos watching them giving them a thumbs up so yeah without further ado like with nothing more left to say let's just get straight into this video. I've got like points on my phone that I really don't want to forget so and also so this video doesn't have doesn't does have structure because I kind of have a habit of rambling like full force and like forgetting what I actually want to say so this should help a lot anyway so the reason this video is called my beauty struggle is basically because I wanted to talk about my experience with beauty um for me it's been up and down i've had positive feelings towards it horrible feelings towards it and anything in between basically i'm gonna get pretty honest very quickly i never really thought i was ugly at all um i've never really felt like oh my gosh i'm butters kind of thing obviously when i was like little like up until like age of 10 my beauty just wasn't really at the forefront of my mind i really started to like yeah year six year seven onwards really started to take notice of beauty and really like think about it a lot more so like i said never really thought i was ugly um always thought i was kind of average felt cute sometimes other times felt complete rubbish which i don't think is out of the ordinary i think it's pretty normal but something i will say and this is literally blatant honesty is I started to feel more pretty and more beautiful when other people started to acknowledge it. As I said, never really thought I was ugly. So I always thought, you know, like, I'm alright. Like, I'm not... I ain't no... I don't know who to compare myself to. I ain't no Beyonce strutting down these streets. But I'm also not Shrek. So, yeah. But as I've gotten a little bit older, 16, 17, 18 stops there because I'm currently 18. I started to be like complimented more on the way I looked and people started to be like oh you always dress so nice you always look so nice da -da 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 -da. I started to get more compliments on my makeup on my hair things like that and all in all people started to recognize started to think that I was more pr was prettier than before not saying that people think I'm drop dead gorgeous not saying that at all but in all honesty people started to recognize my beauty more we want to get brutally honest started to get more likes on instagram and um, facebook photos were popping a little bit more people would but generally compliment me more and i'd feel like a bit more better about myself like like i said never thought i was like bummy but i started to think that okay you know i'm cute i'm cute that kind of leads me on to compliments and how for me it's been a constant I don't want to say struggle but it's been a thing that I've constantly had to do which is to kind of control how I handle compliments. I don't think compliments are a bad thing. Everyone loves a good compliment. Boost your ego a little bit. You feel a little you feel a little bit better about yourself like oh thanks like you know put work into this outfit someone's recognized it cool. Beat my face and someone's complimented it slay. But two things I do believe about compliments is that you should never fish for compliments what was the second thing mm, mm, mm. and do not thrive off compliments that 
is something that I'm constantly having to check myself for. Um, I easily find myself, and I'm being completely honest here, whether people think this is shallow. I do sometimes find myself getting caught up in compliments. If someone compliments my makeup or the way I look, that kind of thing, I take the compliment, accept it, thank it, but then kind of leave it at that. Like, don't cling onto it and don't, like, hold on to that one good thing someone said about the way you look. Just because I feel like that way your view of your beauty falls and rises along with other people's opinions because compliments are people's opinions. Compliments is someone thinking that you look nice today and that can really affect and in the past has really affected my view of myself and my view of my beauty. You should never put your beauty in the hands of someone else. Something else about my beauty struggle is that I go through phases and I know I am not the only one who goes through phases. News flash, like I'm not bringing out breaking news here, fully aware of it. I go through phases where I am happy with my body and I'm happy with my hair, I'm happy with my makeup, feeling all types of fleeky, feeling all types of snatched, edges laid, you know the drill. And then there are other times when I feel so rubbish about myself, like I actually cry about it, like cry, like <laughs> okay not that kind of cry but like pity cry, like I feel a little bit sorry for myself about the way I look. I constantly have to remind myself of things that charm is deceitful and beauty is vain and all these kind of scriptures and quotes and things like that to really pull myself out of that and to say girl you better pull yourself together and take your fan mama seat to self out here and run this town um and yeah i think i've caught like it's every now and then i feel like i have to have those pep talks to myself to remind myself like come on like you were just feeling yourself two weeks ago what happened is it because you're eating way too much mcdonald's then girl cut the mcdonald's out of your life and go back to the gym and then the next thing i kind of wanted to talk about within my beauty struggle is to do with comparison and you guys all know my favorite saying if you watch my channel comparison is a thief of joy and i 100 percent believe that comparing yourself to other people honestly robs you of your own happiness and your own worth and everything like that but being 100 with you guys I find myself comparing myself in terms of the external and in terms of my beauty and in terms of what I have to offer externally a lot. Like, I'm, I'm going to be real here. I can put on my makeup, I can do my hair, put on a nice outfit and I could be happy with the way it looks and feeling good and I can literally turn up to anywhere, a party or a function, see one person who's beautiful and be like, and suddenly my confidence in the way I look can drop. That is not something I am proud of and not something I like at all. Like, it sucks so much. And it is something that I am working hard to change and I'm constantly putting myself in check because I know full well that, like, you can all be beautiful and not look the same. So why am I suddenly not feeling beautiful because I've seen someone else who's more beautiful than me or who I think is more beautiful than me? And I'm constantly telling myself, like, doesn't take away from your beauty just because you see someone else who is more beautiful there can be 35 people there can be 30,000 people in a room with you who are all absolutely stunning doesn't mean that you are not stunning as well people might be sitting there being like stunning shut up that's all right boo because i gotta be my own number one fan because ain't nobody else gonna do it for me so you know boo um, but yeah, that's kind of in terms of my beauty struggle when it comes to comparison and um, how I've been feeling. I really doubted at times my beauty and the belief in my external and the way I, like, I say external, like I'm being so philosophical, belief in my outwardly appearance. And I think that's down to a lot of things. I think it's down to society's view of beauty social media plays a huge part in it i've said it before and i'll say it again like you can log into instagram feeling like a 10 and you can log out feeling like a minus 2.5 real quick doubt in your beauty is not something you should hold on to for yourself that is something the world 
I feel like tries to push onto you and you have to reject that getting quite deep here but really truly you have to reject that and reject the world's ideals of beauty because that will have you quickly doubting your own so then kind of to round up in this video um I said I would talk about kind of like how I felt in the past and I feel like I've done a lot of that but I kind of want to share like where I am now in terms of the beauty struggle I think I am not alone in facing this struggle and I think um, a lot of young women do a lot of young girls do it shouldn't be the case but kind of is the world we live in and I think it's a battle to overcome that and where I am now with it is I'm working really hard to try and speak positive things over the way I see myself but I'm also trying to like leave the exterior alone if that makes sense and leave the way I look and all of that alone you're probably thinking but girl you your hair's done and your face is beat like come again yes I'm not saying don't look nice because first impressions are important we live in a world where the outside does matter people will talk to you based on your outside like let's not get it twisted what I'm saying is for myself I'm trying to not let my the way I look on the outside be the only thing I focus on when it comes to beauty and really trying to cultivate my inner beauty in terms of like who I am as a person the way I treat other people the way I treat myself the way I view things my mindset because 100 that adds to your beauty we always say it the most beautiful people are the people who are nice who have kind hearts who are loving who are this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up also subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more content like this or if you want to see more vlogs and stuff like that as well you can look through my other videos and see what kind of stuff i create yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it follow me on twitter and follow me on instagram it will be linked in the description bar below i will see you guys next time with another video Bye.